that's our intro for our discussion uh, this morning in relation to World Side Day, which is observed today. And the Diabetes Association is hosting a free diabetes eye screening program at its head office at uh, number 10 to 12 Success Street in Shagwanas. Uh, indeed, protecting vision uh, becomes more of a concern as we grow older. And for those living with diabetes, eye care is even more critical. Well, to give us some perspective on this and what more is going to be happening in relation to World Side Day, we're joined by Andrew Danu, who's president of the Diabetes Association, and Dr. Ronnie Bola, director of the Trinidad Eye Hospital. Good morning to you both. Let me start with Mr. Danu, uh, first of all, uh, just to confirm exactly what is going to be happening. Uh, is it t today only? Good morning to you, first of all. Good morning, good morning. Um, so no, it, it's not today. Today is really um, kind of the official launch of it, although um, Trinidad Eye Hospital and the Diabetes Association have been doing it off and on for quite some time. Um, today is really the official launch of uh, the Diabetes Eye Screening Program and the partnership. So today we're going to sign the institutional partnership between the Diabetes Association and the Trinidad Eye Hospital, and we're offering it free every Thursday from now on at the Diabetes Association. And then, of course, we're going to be moving on and having it uh, throughout the country. And so, so just so we could confirm, the, the, the free diabetes eye screening, uh, that will be taking place today and every Thursday thereafter, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So, so it will be taking place today. Um, and then, of course, beyond having it every Thursday at the association, the Trinidad Eye Hospital also has uh, the free screening through the Diabetes Eye Screening Program uh, at their locations. And soon we're going to be implementing it throughout the country as more of our branches open up. Through all 20 branches across the country, we're going to be doing that screening. And let me bring in Dr. Bola into the discussion. Good to have you with us, sir, as, uh, as far as giving us an understanding of uh, the, the, the connection between uh, uh, sight and, and, and eye health and, and diabetes and, and, and how, how we stand in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, what is your perspective on, on that issue as far as diabetes and uh, the impact on, on, on sight and, and other uh, issues of the eye and so on? Good morning to you. Good, good morning, Fazir. That's a really interesting question. You know, when we look at uh, diabetes and the amount of diabetes in Trinidad, we think it has about 200,000 people inflicted with the disease. And out of those 200,000, about 100,000, which is about 50%, would have some sort of diabetic retinopathy. And to talk about diabetic retinopathy just a little bit more, the retina in the eye is a film in the eye. So it's like, you know, the old cameras have film in the back and the diabetes affects the film in the eye. And you can imagine if your film gives you trouble, you're just not going to get a good picture. If your film gives you trouble in your eye, you're just not going to see well. So it's very, very important that we do everything to protect the film in the eye. And what we're trying to do today is to make people aware that if they're diabetic, you fall into that 200,000, 50% chance you might start to have problems with your eyes, the initial problems. If you get screened, we'll be able to save your eyesight. So be aware if you're diabetic every year, you have to have your eyes screened and checked by an ophthalmologist. So, so Dr. Muller, just so we can understand that, that point that you, that, that you finished up on, let's just say I am diabetic. But at the moment, I don't seem to have any problems with my eyes. But I'm 55. Should I go for a screening just to be sure? Yes, but you are the perfect candidate for screening. Because screening is prevention. Prevention is better than cure in this sort of problem. And if we pick up early signs and early changes, we could cure them, prevent you from ever losing your sight. But if we get you when you already start to lose your sight, we could give you back some sight, but not all. And, and you know, your sight is vitally important to you. So please, if you're diabetic, even if you're newly diagnosed, that's perfect. You need screening yearly, please. Let us get back to Mr. Danu as far as uh, uh, the, the situation that is very much an, an epidemic in Trinidad and Tobago, as we heard from Dr. Bola, with the, uh, an estimate of maybe 200,000 uh, uh, coping with diabetes in Trinidad and Tobago and half of that uh, with, with eye-related issues. Uh, mm -hmm. are, are you satisfied, Mr. Dan Danu, that the message is getting across and that on a day like today, World Side Day, uh, especially with the challenges of COVID-19, that people appreciate the gravity of the situation? 
Well, for zero, I think the message is, is, is being put out and we collectively need to do a better job at it. NGOs such as the Diabetes Association and the Trinidad Eye Hospital have been trying for quite a long time, but we, we, we're fighting against many obstacles, one of which is uh, so much information is out there that, that you know, we, we need to fight against, mis fight against misinformation. We need to be able to, we need to be able to, to, to send to people um, or, or, or really direct people to the services that, are, that, 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 that they need. Um, at the Diabetes Association, we've been doing that. And of course, COVID has put a damper on things because we have limited our services because of course we want to keep our staff and members safe. But now we, 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 are, we, we recognize that many persons are going with all the treatment that they need. Many persons are going with all the, the interaction that they need. So, so we, we, we're not only restarting our diabetes eye screening program, uh, as I said, every Thursday we're going to run it, but we also have our HbA1c screening, our diabetes foot care screening, and then of course all of our other services are going to be kind of rolled out uh, at the head office in Shibonas, but also through our branches um, as the weeks go out. And, and because we're now becoming familiar with these daily uh, updates uh, from the Ministry of Health, the, 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 the word comorbidities has become part of, of, of our local lexicon. Is that an, a, 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 a special concern for the Diabetes Association? Because, because that would appear to be one of the obvious comorbidities when we're talking about COVID-19. Exactly. And um, for most persons who um, have diabetes, and there was a recent study that would have come out uh, probably just a couple of weeks ago, where it was seen that persons living with, with diabetes actually have far greater risk. So, so you are twice as much, um, so, so you are at any age, you are twice as much likely to die from COVID-19 if you have type, type 2 diabetes. And if you have type, type 1 diabetes, that, 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 that goes up to 3.5% or rather 3.5 times more risk as someone living without diabetes. So diabetes puts, puts a lot of risk on, on, uh, in terms of increasing your risk of um, not only um, having complications of COVID-19, COVID but also um, succumbing to it. And, and Dr. Bola, just so I, I, did I understand you correctly when you said that if it is that people were to be screened uh, even before complications arise, that you could actually prevent those complications from developing, is that correct? That, that is correct, Fazir. So let's say somebody has a diabetes. What will happen is with time, they will start to develop bleeding into the retina or film in the eye. And if we could pick them up when they, before they start to get the, the bleeding, we could apply treatment, which is laser treatment or injections early on. And that prevents the new blood vessels that are bleeding in the retina from progressing. The other thing is, if they develop some bleeding, the early bleeding, then that's easy also to operate on and remove before they start to develop something called a retinal detachment, which is the late stage. So we're trying to prevent people from actually presenting to us, which is what we see in our clinics throughout the country with late stage uh, diabetic retinopathy and retinal detachments, which are very difficult to reattach and fix and give people back 2020 vision. If you, if we screen you and we pick you up early, you're going to maintain your 2020 vision for, for, for your natural life. And before I go back to Mr. Daniel for a final word and maybe all the contact information for people who would like to get more information, what, what would you like to leave, Dr. Bola? What is your final message to our audience this morning as far as our, our concerns related to eyesight and world side day? I think it's to make, you know, this world side is really to make people aware that they need to get their eyes tested if they're diabetic every year, a dilated examination by your doctor or your optometrist. And we are going to try and make diabetic screening with our uh, uh, DAC partnership now more accessible to you. So we're going to reach you with Andrew Danu there in Shagwanas weekly. And we then want to roll this out um, nationally with Andrew Danu's help. And really, we have to thank Andrew Danu and the Diabetic Association for this bold move in partnering with us to make this thing happen. Thank you. And indeed, thanks, thanks very much, uh, Dr. Bola, for taking the time to be with us uh, this morning. Let's finish up with Andrew Danu, the president of the Diabetes Association. And, and what, what would be your, your final bit of advice? And indeed, contact information for anyone who wants to get more in, info either on this particular initiative or generally. 
So, so we are we are having this, and we are we are performing this screening and uh, having this program because, of course, we want to reach more persons, and we want to prevent you from losing your eyesight. If you do have diabetes then of course you need to come and contact us. You need to contact us, come and get screened at least once per year. So you could contact us at 6720864 or even on our social media platforms on Facebook and on Instagram, send us a message. We'll make an appointment for you and you could come and get your screening. Again, it's free of charge. Something like this would usually cost like four to $500 and it's free of charge to anyone who comes to us. Um, and again, we're gonna be rolling it out throughout the country and we wanna reach as many persons as we can. Mr. Dano, thank you very much for taking the time to be with us as well for this very important initiative. So again, that contact number 6720864 and you can find them on their Facebook page as well and uh, their other social media links uh, in that regard. Well, it's time for another break as we come up towards 7.55. Here's a yellow floral image uh, sent to us by former sports minister Manohar Ramsaran, who clearly has uh, enough time to appreciate uh, uh, the, the finer things of life when it comes to his garden. And uh, he, he certainly has presented us with a nice one this morning. We'll take a break and I'll be back to wrap up the show.